Have you ever wondered how celebrating death could be a vibrant joyous affair? Welcome to the world of Dia de los Muertos, Mexico's unique and lively celebration of life and death. Picture this, a festival where death takes center stage, yet the atmosphere is far from somber. Instead, it's filled with color, laughter, music, and the scent of marigold flowers. This is not an occasion of mourning, but a jubilant reunion with loved ones who have passed on. This is Dia de los Muertos, a festival that flips our conventional understanding of death on its head. It's a celebration that transcends the boundary between life and death, creating a space for love, remembrance, and joyous reunion. It's a paradox that's as intriguing as it is beautiful. But how did such a tradition come about? What are the stories behind this vibrant celebration? Let's embark on a journey to understand this intriguing tradition and its roots. Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is no ordinary commemoration. It's a fusion of age-old customs, Catholic beliefs, and indigenous practices. This celebration is an intricate tapestry of traditions, each with its unique significance and purpose. Let's start with the heart of this festival, the altars, or ofrendas. These are not merely decorative elements, they are personal and heartfelt tributes to the departed. Families carefully craft these altars at home or at grave sites adorning them with photographs, candles, and personal mementos. The aim? To welcome the spirits back to the world of the living, if only for a brief while. Next, we have the marigold flowers known in Mexico as Sempasuchil. These vibrant orange blooms are more than just pleasing to the eye. In Mexican folklore, they are believed to guide the spirits with their bright color and enticing scent. The petals often form a path, leading to the ofrenda, symbolizing the guiding light for the souls to find their way back home. And then, there are the sugar skulls. These sweet, edible sculptures are intricately decorated and often bear the name of the deceased. They serve as a reminder of the cyclical nature of life and death adding a dash of whimsy to the somber subject of mortality. The ofrendas also brim with the favorite foods and drinks of the departed, from pan de muerto, a special bread baked for the occasion, to bottles of tequila or mezcal. These offerings are a feast not for the living, but for the souls returning. Every element of Dia de los Muertos, from the most prominent to the minutest detail, is steeped in meaning, serving a specific purpose in this grand celebration of life and death. These traditions serve as a bridge connecting the living with the departed in a colorful, heartfelt celebration. But what does Dia de los Muertos mean to the people who celebrate it? Hear it straight from them. Imagine growing up in a land where death is not a somber affair, but instead, a vibrant celebration. In Mexico, Dia de los Muertos is a time to rejoice, remember, and reconnect with departed loved ones. We've spoken to several individuals who have grown up celebrating this unique festival, and here are their stories. Meet Maria, a woman in her late 50s, who fondly remembers helping her grandmother prepare the ofrendas or altars as a child. For her, Dia de los Muertos is a time to honor her ancestors. She believes that during this festival, the veil between the living and the dead thins, allowing them to share a moment of togetherness. Next, we have Carlos, a young man who sees Dia de los Muertos as an opportunity to keep his culture alive. He feels a sense of pride as he paints his face with the iconic calaca, or skull. Carlos believes that every stroke of paint is a tribute to his heritage and a way of ensuring that the traditions of Dia de los Muertos continue for generations to come. And then there's Rosa, a mother who lost her daughter a few years ago. For Rosa, Dia de los Muertos is a source of comfort. She says that preparing her daughter's favorite foods and setting up an altar with her photos and mementos makes her feel closer to her in spirit. These stories highlight that Dia de los Muertos is not simply a festival, it's a deeply ingrained part of Mexican culture that offers a unique perspective on life, death, and the bonds that tie us to our ancestors. Each person's experience with Dia de los Muertos is unique, shaped by their personal beliefs, experiences, and relationships with their departed loved ones. Yet they all share a common thread, a deep respect for the cycle of life and death, and a belief in the enduring connection between the living and the deceased. As you can see, Dia de los Muertos is more than a festival. It's a deeply personal, emotional journey. The vibrancy of Dia de los Muertos has historical roots, deeply intertwined with Mexico's rich cultural tapestry. Let's dive into the past to uncover the origins of this fascinating festival. Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a blend of pre-Hispanic indigenous beliefs and Catholicism. 
It is believed to have originated from the Aztec civilization, which held a month-long ritual in the ninth month of their calendar, dedicated to Mixtecatihuatl, the goddess of the underworld. When the Spanish conquerors arrived in the 16th century, they discovered a civilization that embraced death as a natural part of life's cycle. The Spanish, in their bid to convert the indigenous population to Catholicism, moved the festival to coincide with All Saints Day and All Souls Day in early November. This shift marked the beginning of the Dia de los Muertos as we know it today, a fusion of Aztec rituals and Catholic traditions. Fast forward a few centuries, and Dia de los Muertos has become a significant part of Mexico's cultural identity. It is a time for families to remember their loved ones who have passed on, to celebrate their lives and to rejoice in the belief that death is not the end, but a continuation of life's journey. The festival is characterized by colorful marigold flowers, intricately designed sugar skulls, and beautifully decorated altars known as ofrendas. Each element of the celebration carries its own symbolism, deeply rooted in the beliefs of the ancient Aztecs. For instance, the marigold flowers are said to guide the spirits home, while the sugar skulls represent the sweetness of life and the bitterness of death. In 2008, UNESCO recognized Dia de los Muertos as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity, further cementing its importance to Mexican culture and its influence on the world stage. Understanding the history of Dia de los Muertos gives us a deeper appreciation of its cultural importance and the beliefs that fuel its celebrations. Just when you thought you knew it all, here are some fascinating facts about Dia de los Muertos that might surprise you. Despite its name, Dia de los Muertos isn't a one-day event. The celebration actually spans three days, starting on October 31st and ending on November 2nd. Each day has its own significance, dedicated to different spirits based on their age and the way they passed away. The vibrant marigolds you see everywhere during the festival are not just for decoration. Known as Flor de Muerto, or the Flower of the Dead, marigolds are believed to guide spirits to their altars using their vibrant color and scent. The sugar skulls that have become iconic symbols of the festival are more than just sweet treats. They are traditionally handmade and personalized to represent the departed loved one, embodying the spirit of celebration and remembrance. These intriguing facts add another layer to our understanding of this unique celebration. Scene Script Inspired to experience Dia de los Muertos for yourself? Here are some practical tips to guide your journey. First things first, plan ahead. Dia de los Muertos, celebrated from October 31st to November 2nd, is a significant event in Mexico, attracting visitors from all over the globe. It's essential to book your accommodations and transportation well in advance to secure the best deals and avoid any last-minute hassles. Next, consider where you want to experience the festival. While Dia de los Muertos is celebrated throughout Mexico, each region has its unique traditions. Oaxaca in southern Mexico is renowned for its elaborate street parades and cemetery vigils. In Mexico City, you'll find the spectacular parade inspired by the James Bond movie Spectre. And in the island of Genizio, in Lake Pátzcuaro, locals hold an all-night candlelit vigil that is truly mesmerizing. Now let's talk about what to expect. This is not a somber event, but a vibrant celebration of life and death. Expect to see streets teeming with marigold flowers intricately designed altars, and skeletal figures known as calacas. You'll hear music filling the air and smell traditional foods like pan de muerto, a sweetbread made especially for the festival. Participation is welcome, but remember to do so respectfully. This is a deeply personal and spiritual event for many Mexicans. If invited to a home or a cemetery, be sure to follow the local customs. Dress appropriately, often in bright colors but nothing too flashy. Offerings or ofrendas can be a thoughtful gesture. These could include marigold flowers, food, or small trinkets. Lastly, don't forget to take care of yourself during the festival. Stay hydrated, wear comfortable shoes for the long walks, and apply plenty of sunscreen during the day. With these tips in mind, you're ready to experience the magic of Dia de los Muertos firsthand.